A CNC has so many capabilities with its accuracy and consistency that would be impossible to achieve with a manual router. Although it has a learning curve, today I will show you how to V-carve a simple design. Now, I like to create my designs in Adobe Illustrator and then import the design into the CNC software Aspire. Although you can create a design right into the CNC software, whether you have VCarve Pro or Aspire, I just like to use Adobe Illustrator. So first, I will add the width and length of the wood that I will be engraving. It is 40 inches in width and five and a quarter in length. I will first set up my guides. This will allow me to place my design exactly where I want it to be engraved on the wood. I want to have two inch offset for the width on each side and about half an inch on the height. Now that I have the guide set up, I will use the text tool to create the name, The Mangles. This engraving will be for a client that will be getting married in less than a week. I will go ahead and set the font size to fit within the offset. Now you can choose from a variety of font, but with this design, I will go with Atlas. Now that everything looks good, I will go ahead and expand to create the shape. Now I will export it as an Adobe Illustrator file. I will open the CNC software Aspire and go ahead and import the design. Now I will go ahead and set my measurements. Now it might get tricky, but I will set my length to 40 inches instead of five and a half and I will set my width to five and a half instead of 40 inches. The reason is because the cutting capacity of my CNC is 24 inches in width and 50 inches in length. Since this piece of wood is 40 inches, I will place the long side of the wood along the Y axis. Now I'm going to highlight the design. Now let's click the toolpath, click V carve. I will be using the Amana 90 degrees V bit. Now let's click calculate. Now here's an example of the design. Now let's carve on the CNC. Now that I have the wood on the CNC, I will set my Z position. Now that the Z position has been set, now I will unleash the CNC. Now here is the design engraved. And here is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to subscribe to help support the channel.